Welcome everybody uh, to Podcast 34. So today we have Fight Night 146 coming up this Saturday, March 9th at 5 p.m. is when the preliminary card will be underway. The venue is at Entrust Bank Arena and you can also watch it on ESPN+. Plus. Start your free trial today and watch this amazing uh, Fight Night 146 card um, and see if I got these predictions right. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the very first fight of the evening. Uh, it's going to be in the lightweight division. Alex White versus Dan Mort. On here I have Dan Mort winning. Um, let's look at the tail of the tape. Dan is two years elder. Uh, height is both the same uh, and the reach. Uh, he's going to have a, about a two 1.5 uh, inch reach advantage over Alex White. And I have Dan Moret winning. Moving on into the welterweight division, we have Alex Morono versus Zach Otto. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, Alex is 28. Zach is 32. Uh, there's no reach advantage. Same height, same reach. And uh, yeah, so when in this case, and I'm looking at their uh, tail of the tape and stuff like that. Uh, and... Uh, the age, I don't really pay attention to that. Uh, I don't think that really has anything to uh, do with it. That's just my opinion, though. Um, height is 71-71 for both sides. So, honestly, it's the same um, height. So, then the weight, same weight, and the reach is the same. So, then I move on to the record. Alex... Record is 15 wins, 6 losses, and Zach is 17 wins, 6 losses. And I went ahead and stuck with Zach on this one because he has more experience, more wins over Alex. Moving on to the bantamweight division for Fight Night 146, we have Luis Smolok versus Matt Central. Alright, uh, Matt's going to be the elder in this match. Uh, Lewis has a one inch height advantage, which shouldn't really play a uh, part in anything, especially with Matt having the 70 inch reach over a 68.5 for Luis. And I went ahead and went with Matt Central for that one. Moving on to the Heavyweight, I'm pretty sure this is a rematch. Uh, we have Maurice Green, which I'm pretty sure he lost the last time these two fighters fought. And uh, Maurice Green versus Jeff Hughes. Um, Jeff Hughes had a pretty impressive record with 10 wins, 1 loss. And uh, Maurice Green has 6 wins, 2 losses. Uh, Maurice is 2 years the elder. He's going to have the height advantage and the reach advantage. And I went ahead and said that Marinx will win this match. Then we're going to move on to the featherweight division. We have Grant Dawson versus Julian and Rosa. Uh, Julian's going to be the elder at age 29 over a 25 Height is 73 and 70 with Julian having that upper hand in that one. And uh, the reach is 75 inches for Julian. And Grant Dawson does not have a reach on here. So I went ahead and went with Grant to win that match. Now moving on to the women's bantamweight division. We have Marion Reunion versus Yana Kashi. I can't say it, sorry. Uh, we're going to have uh, the age for Marion is 41 over a 29 
for Ghana and uh, the height is the same and the reach is similar with Ghana having a 0.5 inch reach advantage so that's not going to play a part in it at all uh, I'm seeing right here so again I'm going to go up to the uh, records Marion has nine wins four losses and one draw uh, Yana has 11 wins, 4 losses, and 1 no contest. So, I went ahead and went with Yana for this one. Now, we are going back to the welterweight division for Fight Night 146, the main event for the preliminary card. We have Anthony Rocco Martin versus Sergio Moreras. Sergio is going to be 36. Over a 29, uh, we have 72 for both in height, and we have a 73.5 over a 72-inch reach advantage. Anthony has 15 wins, 4 losses. Sergio has 14 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. Sorry. So that's going to be the end of the preliminary card for Fight Night 146. Now we're going to move on to the main card, which is going to be stacked with great fighters. i got to go get me water. Okay, because, man, I don't know why I'm having pause like this. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to start off. Fight Night 146 with a stacked uh, main card. First off, we're going to have Tim Bushits versus Armia Kamakade. Sorry if I messed both of them up. I I am terrible with the names. But this is going to be in the middleweight division. Detail of the tape. Tim is going to have a 38 over 31 in age. Height is the same at 72 inches. The reach is going to be 74 inches over a 73, which Tim will have the upper hand in. I have Tim for that fight. Moving on to the lightweight division, we have Benel Dariashi. Versus Drew Dobbin. Tell of the tape. We're going to have Drew with one year above Ben L with a 30 over 29 then in age. And then we're going to move on to height. Uh, it's going to be 70 to 68 with Ben L having the uh, advantage in that height. And then in the reach, we will have Ben L having a 2 inch reach advantage. I went ahead and went with Benel for this match. Moving on to a little bit more heavier division, heavyweights. We're going to have Blagley versus Blagley in Benov. I'm trying not to screw these up, sorry if I do. Versus Ben Rothwell. Um, tell of the tape. Ben Rothwell is 37 over 32. He, in height, Ben is 76 inches over a 71 inch height. And then in weight, we actually have a little bit different weight right here. Ben is 265 and over a 250. In reach, we have 78 0.5 for Ben over 73. So Ben's going to have the upper hand on all of this. And uh, I, I just want to go ahead and say uh, the record right here. Uh, ben has a 36 wins, 10 losses over Bagalotti having 16 wins, 2 losses, and 1 no contest. For this fight, I have Ben winning. Moving on to the welterweight division for Fight Night 146. We have Tim Means versus Nico Price. Uh, Tim is going to have a higher age than Nico with a 35 over 29. 
And in height, he's going to have a 2-inch height advantage with 74 over 72. Then we're going to go on in to reach. But Nico's going to come up with the upper hand with a 1-inch reach advantage, 76 over 75. For that match, I have Nico winning. Moving on to the welterweight co-main event for Fight Night 146, we have a uh, longly awaited match for this one. Of uh, the tail of the tape, uh, he's going to be one year older than Curtis. It's Elzu Las Dos Santos. I can get that Dos Santos right. I can't get that other one. Sorry. Versus Curtis Millinder. Tail of the tape. Ezlu is going to have a one year, uh, one year the elder, over 32, over 31, 71 inch height, over, under 74 inches for Curtis Millinder. For the reach advantage, Curtis Millinder is going to have a 3 inch reach advantage over, uh, 73. So that's 76 over 73 reach advantage. For this one, I have Curtis Millinder winning. Moving on to our main event of the evening for Fight Night 146 in the heavyweight division. We have the main event. Derek the Beast Lewis versus Junior Dos Santos. Tell of the tape. Junior Dos Santos is going to be one year of the elder with the height one inch. Over Derek Lewis, which is 76 over 75. A little bit difference in weight. Junior Dos Santos is going to have 238 pounds, while Derek Lewis is sitting at 260 pounds. The reach advantage in this one is a little bit different. With Derek Lewis having a 2 inch reach advantage over Junior Dos Santos. For this fight night, I have Derek Lewis winning. And I'll go ahead and give y'all my full prediction. Derek Lewis wins by knockout in the 4th round. I guarantee you how much y'all want to bet. Now moving on to UFC 235, which was last Saturday, and I mean, man, we can't get much better than that. UFC 235 was a hell of a match. We had two championship fights on that card with John Jones versus Anthony Smith. Kamaru Usman versus Tyrone Woodley. Two championship fights. Two champions. Two number one contenders. So, I'm going to tell y'all who I got right and who I got wrong. Sorry I'm drinking so much water. I am. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, so, for the early prelim. Early prelims. We have Pollyanna Vienna versus Hannah Cliffers. Hannah Cliffers won by decision. Now let's go ahead and look at this uh, fight stats. Hannah had one knockdown. Pollyanna had 53% total strike rate, 3% over Hannah. Then in the significant strikes, we had 44% for Pollyanna, 43% for Hannah Cliffers. That was a bad decision in my eyes, but I did get that one wrong. There we go again. I don't know why I'm doing that. Good Lord. Okay. But yeah, that was a, a terrible decision, I think. Uh, Y'all go ahead and tell me your thoughts. The Marlon Vera versus Frankie Senez was uh, canceled. So, 
yeah, I don't really know what happened to that one. Moving on to the women's bantamweight, we had Gina Mazinani versus Macy Chimsey. I had Macy for this one, and she won by KO slash TKO round one, one minute, 49 seconds into the very first round. Then moving on to our main event, which is in the middle weight for the early prelims, Edmund Shamalayanu gonna try versus Charles Bird. I had Edmund winning this, and he won by KO slash TKO in the very first round, 38 seconds in. And I did get that one right, and the Macy one right. Moving on to the preliminary card, which was stacked uh, with some very good fighters. We had First, Diego Sanchez versus Mickey Gall. I had Diego Sanchez winning this one, and he did. A right over Mickey Gall with a KO slash TKO in the very round two, four minutes, 13 seconds in. Moving on to the bantamweight fight of the night. Cody Stanman. Versus Alejandro Perez. I had Alejandro for this one. And I got it wrong. It was a decision round three. Five minutes in of course. Because it's the decision. Uh, that was a good decision from the looks of it. Uh, so yeah. Moving on to the one that I really want to talk about. Before we get to the main card. We had the Coleman event. The light heavyweight matchup. For UFC 235 co-main event for the preliminary card, we had Misha, Misha, Konozov, sorry, versus Johnny Walker. Huh? Hello? Mm. Man, y'all should have seen this one right here. We had Johnny Walker. Faking and faking and faking, and then boom! Hits him right there with the fly knee for a KO slash TKO. Round one, 36 seconds into the very first round. Man, but then once his, he tried to do his celebratory dance, he went like this, fell, and hurt his arm. So, yeah. Then, we're going to move on to the featherweight division. Jeremy Stephens versus a bit. I had a bit for this one. I had Walker for the last one. I had Walker right. And I have a bit right. So, uh, a bit. Great. Uh, let's look at the decision here. They made the right decision. Uh, I was kind of... Nah, I didn't really know, but then looking at the spike stats, I'm glad they made that decision. It was like a very well decision, and I got that one right as well. Moving on to the main card of Fight Night 2. No, what? UFC 235 Fight Night, but I, I got that Derek Lewis fight in my head. Anyways, moving on to the main card, we had Cody Garbrandt versus Pedro Muchinez. I had Cody Garbrandt for winning this match, but this is his third KO, getting KO'd in the uh, in his matches, and he got KO'd one last time. KO slash TKO in the very first round, four minutes fifty two seconds into the very first round. Then we have a women's strawweight match: Tekka Torres versus Willie Zhang. Uh, Willie Zhang won by a uh, decision, and I I got that one right. Well, let's look at the fight stats to make sure this was a good decision right here, and it was. It was a very good decision, so uh, good job on the rest on that one. We have another uh, very well talked about. We had the debut of Ben Askren versus Robbie Lawyer. I mean, it was an early stoppage, maybe. But I don't think so. I think it was a right stoppage. His arm went limp. Uh, Ben Askren kind of let up because, uh, her Dean was, uh, checking in there. He kind of let up and boom, all the blood 
rushed to his head, he woke up. And I think that is what happened. But I also think Ben Askren was laid out flat on the ground when Robbie Lawyer was pounding him after that big throw suplex like John Cena through the air. But uh, Ben Askren won uh, in a submission round one, three minutes, 20 seconds in the very first round. Moving on to our welterweight co-main event, which was a title fight. Tyrone Woodley loses his championship to Kamaru Usman. And that was a very well decision. And I got that one wrong. And I also changed my... I also changed uh, my main event, John Jones versus Anthony Smith. I changed. I changed at the very last second. That morning, I can change any of my people on my card. I just can't change them when the preliminary card, early prelims start. I cannot change anything once they start, but I can always change them right before that morning or whenever. Oh my God, there I go again. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Gosh. But I changed it that morning. I had Anthony Smith winning and John Jones won by the uh, decision, man. He, he defended his title. I had John Jones on there on my last Thursday on my prediction, but now it's this Thursday and I got it wrong because I switched right there at the last second. Time to count them up to see how many I got right. Versus how many I got wrong. So, there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 matches on this fight card. And I got 7 out of 12 right. Baby, we done it. We got more than half, and hopefully I can do that. This UFC uh, Fight Night 146 with Derek Lewis, uh, main eventing, and Curtis Millinder for the co-main event. Hopefully you are going to be watching that. It's going to be a knockout night, I guarantee you, baby. Thank y'all for watching Podcast 34. Hopefully y'all join in next time. We didn't have too many stories on here. We, did, we just... Went ahead and went straight to the MMA, and I'll be back. Thank you. Join in next Thursday for, you guessed it, Podcast 34, Show 6, I think we're on Show 6. Man, we're moving. Shit. Thank y'all. That was a hard one. God bless. Thank you.